And it was a hero's welcome for nearly 100 local veterans who just arrived back home from visiting our nation's capital. Eyewitness News reporter Celine Stevens was there for the landing and talked to veterans themselves to find out how the trip went. Kern County's 47th Honor Flight landed Wednesday, where over 100 veterans stepped off the plane after an amazing trip to Washington, D.C., which some have even described as life-changing. I've never experienced anything quite like it. Wonderful. It's one of a kind kind of a thing, you know. This is just what a couple out of a little over 100 veterans who took the trip to the country's capital had to say about their honor flight experience. We went to all the major monuments and, and um, you know, the service and the war memorials and it was you know, something, you know, if you're a vet, it's something that uh, you, you can appreciate. Veterans also got to visit the U.S. Capitol building, where they were greeted by Congressman Kevin McCarthy and David Valadeo, and also received other special treatment. They shut the freeway down. They had, we had a police escort to, the, to Congress. Nobody's ever done that for me, you know. It was just cool. For many veterans, especially those who served in the Vietnam War, like Bruce Tabor, say this homecoming was better than the first one years ago. I could go into graphic detail about spitting on you, things like that. Yeah, this was way different. This was welcoming. Family members and friends were eagerly waiting for their loved ones to get off the flight to welcome them the right way. They deserve all the recognition that we can give them. They need to be loved and valued. It means a lot to them. I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah, we love our country, right? And so I'm sure that they were very, feel honored to have served. Some were there to surprise their loved ones, like Mary Bogacki. I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm really glad to see him. <laughs> this couple soon happily reunited, but not until a special ceremony was performed in honor of World War II veteran Joseph Wilkerson, who was supposed to be on the flight, but passed away before he could. As for the overall trip, Honor Flight is something some say they wish everyone could experience. I hope every vet in the county gets to go. I really do. So it's, it's, a, it's a well worth it, and, and those guys deserve it. There will be a third Honor Flight taking off on November 1st for Native American veterans to take them to go see the new Native American Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. This will be the third flight of its kind in the country. At Meadowsfield Airport, Celine Stevens, Eyewitness News.